Rebecca is crying in her bed as she thinks about her situation and how Evan has made it clear that he's only interested in her because of her eye powers. He tried to grab it to get a better score at EMS, but she hid his hands away. The noble says that her family decided that they should get married so that her father could be the head of all three great houses. Evan agreed to work with them because of this. He tells her that if she doesn't follow the rules, her little sister's life could be in danger. When her eye starts to bleed, the flashback ends. As she continues to cry, her powers suddenly take her to the Far East War. She watches as a young Ray tries to save Howard, but Ainsworth gives him the Will Smith treatment so that Ray will accept that Howard is dead and keep going with the mission. Since the battle was still going on the next morning, Rebecca and a few other people go through a huge stack of documents that need to be approved for the school's cultural festival to happen. She looks at Ray as she tries to figure out what her vision of his past means. When Sarah asks Ray to meet her outside in the garden, she breaks the silence. When he goes outside, Maria greets him and tells him she's Rebecca's little sister, but he's already met her when he was dressed as Lily. Ray is just a RIS demon because he starts to say so many nice things about her beauty that he uses her feelings of insecurity as the basis for his song. Even though Sarah has already told her about his charm, this makes her blush. They are also friends, which is why Maria is able to talk to Ray. Ray thinks that she wants to talk to him about what's going on with Rebecca. Maria is the youngest in her family, and people always compare her to her older sister. She isn't as skilled as Rebecca, but her older sister has always been there for her when things got hard. So she feels she has to help her as well. Ray takes Maria's hand and says he will do everything he can to protect her. He also says that the fact that she cares about her sister shows that her heart is pure and beautiful. This makes her cry a little bit as she puts her face on Ray's chest while Rebecca watches. That night, she leaves. She has trouble sleeping because she keeps thinking about why Maria would be in Ray's arms. She knows Ray doesn't realize how he makes girls feel, so she tries to forget what she saw. In the boys' dorm, Evie is wondering if Ray is going to go to bed and wants to know what he's reading. He tells his roommate about the love story and suggests that she read it too. Since the author is good at showing how different people feel, Evie doesn't want to read it. He says that their textbooks are hard enough for him. As the days go by, the class continues to put the finishing touches on their maid cafe. Ray still helps the student council duo as they work through the documents one night while Ray sleeps. They practice their customer service and taste the food that will be served. He has a dream about Howard's funeral as he tries to comfort a young Carlo who is sad. Ray gets a call from Rebecca in his dream. When he answers, he turns to his grown-up self, and Rebecca asks him who he really is. He thinks for a moment before telling her, but the thunder and loud rain drown out his voice. So he can't talk to her. He wakes up, he starts to sweat and wonders if it was all a dream, but his right eye starts to bleed the next morning, so he washes his face and goes for a run, where he sees Rebecca taking care of the flowers. Both of them stop doing what they're doing and sit down to talk. She says that the cultural festival will start that day. Ray admits that he has never done anything like this before, so he is very excited. She gives him a worried look, so he calls out to her to get her to tell him what's on her mind. She starts to ask if he was in the Far East War, but she can't finish her question. Instead, she apologizes and wishes him luck at his first festival. Later that day, colored smoke explodes above the academy to mark the start of the festival, and students from all the sorcerer academies gather. Ariane and her little sister Tiana arrive, excited for all the fun they're going to have, and head inside. Maria walks through the hallways to look for Amelia. She stops when she sees a poster for the May Cafe. Amelia and Elisa serve Ariane and her little sister their food and use condiments to make a love heart before singing and dancing in a cute way. Arian looks around and doesn't see Ray, so she wonders where he is. Then it dawns on her that he might be dressed as Lily White, and she's right. When Ray walks down the hallway in his maid outfit, the other students applaud. Everyone's heart skips a beat when the guy strikes a pose. Arian can't believe what she's seeing because she knows his secret, but Tiana waves politely to her friend Ray is sure that he's a pro maid because he's done his research. Two other students are walking through a scary part of the school and are afraid that Clarice will push them over the edge when she comes out of the water. 
Well, this scared them so much because it was a ghost that the girl picked up the guy as they ran away. Even though she likes scaring people, she is pretty lonely because she hides in a remote area. The next day, Abby and Carol were her teachers. Look around the academy. When Leia says she misses all the fun, she was planning to use this as a chance to mess with Ray. During that time, Maria goes to the May Cafe to see if Lily is there. She has no idea that it's Ray serving her the food and doing a dance that makes everyone's nose bleed. Even Amelia gives up and admits she's no good as a maid. Abby and Albert are a little confused, but they find it all very interesting. Tiana is impressed by his skills, but Ariane is scared that she came to such a place. After all, Ray changes back to his regular clothes as he walks with Rebecca. She looks at him and gets a little red in the face. Sarah suggested that she go to the festival with Ray so that she could also have fun. He sees that she looks a little nervous and asks, is everything okay? She hesitates for a second and then grabs his arms. The two have fun looking at all the different booths. They walk together in this open area, and Claris jumps out to scare them. Rebecca gets a little scared, but Ray puts her at ease by telling her it's just a ghost, since he knows it's Claris and they've already gotten rid of her. As soon as a threat starts to bother her, they go to most of the sites. Rebecca thanks Ray for spending time with her in a formal way, and he says he has to go as he walks away. She calls him and tells him about the fireworks show that will end the festival. The next day, but she's afraid to ask and go with her, so she just apologizes again and rushes into the room later that night. Maria goes home while looking at the pictures she took with Ray dressed as Lily. Someone with white hair, like her, is standing in her way. The strange woman tells Maria that if things keep going the way they are, her older sister is going to die. The news makes her so sad that she drops her painting at the same time. Ray also finds out about this. When he is called by his senior teammates, Ainsworth tells him to calm down because if they do nothing, she will die. Since he is around, there is still time to save her. They are likely to be able to avoid this. Rebecca's father comes in and begs Ray to save his daughter as the Ice Blade Sorcerer. After the meeting, Ray goes back to his dorm and can tell something is wrong, so he tells his roommate he's there for him. Even the rest of their group of friends are willing to help if he needs it. In the meantime, Evan and Para are getting ready for the next few days because they expect Rebecca to wake up. Para doesn't care about any of that, but he's happy to be back in her home as long as he can eat the ice blade. Rebecca sits on her bed and cries again as she sees scenes from the future and her eyes bleed. Maria sits outside Ray goes for another run the next morning and is stopped by Rebecca, who is waiting for him. She had heard Rebecca crying in pain in her sister's room the night before. She also knows her time is almost up, so she begs him to take care of her younger sister. She sends a request saying that she will not be able to visit her because she has a commitment. Ainsworth joins the principal and Carol as they get ready to go somewhere. Often, he can only look at her in shock as she thanks him and walks away. The last day of the festival has come, so Ray dresses up one last time to put on a good show. He sees that Maria has returned, but she's not as lively as she was before. Instead, she asks Ray for courage, which surprises him. Before she leaves, he tries to make her feel better. Amelia tries to talk to him, but she can tell he is serious. He tells his friends he has to go and then takes off without saying why, which worries them outside. Evan stands in her way as she walks through a quiet place. He teleports her to the training area before she can say anything. He tells her that they will break her while they build a wall. While the show is getting ready to start, Para has gathered some monsters. Ray is already there, and the monsters are shooting fireballs at him, but he dodges them and kills the first wave with ease. He sees that they have a lot of people and wonders how far he can get with just his base strength. Some of the enemies with hoods attack him, but Amelia's butterfly effect stops them. His friends kept up with him and helped him win. With some combo attacks, Para sees that Amelia has a special ability and runs to seal it. But Ray stops the attack just in time. He is told to leave the kids behind and go back to the top. Ray's friends tell him to go on while they take care of the fodder. He gets serious and takes off his maid's clothes. As he leaves, he thanks everyone, but they look at him funny because he's still talking in a female voice. 
Rebecca can hear the noise and is curious about what is going on. She is surprised when Maria calls to her, but Ray speeds up to save them. What Rebecca's dad said makes him think. He said that the Bradley name is a curse that was put on their family's bloodline, and that an entity called the Cruz shows up in a family member once every few hundred years. This usually leads to a lot of bloodshed. Rebecca was born with that spirit, but Ainsworth says that she hasn't changed into the Cruz yet because she can't even control her own sorcerer's eye. Her father adds that she won't live to be 20 if she can't control her power. He thinks that Rebecca's birth on the cruise might have caused Maria to be born with albinism. Their dad thinks that Maria is also connected to it. He needs their help because of this. At the end of the flashback, Ray is climbing up the cliff to get to the sisters. That's the end of the episode 11.